All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're ready. You're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So I just got back from the theaters and a release for the 2024 horror film called Alien Romos. And this is my review, but here is the plot. While savaging the deep ends of the diff different space station, a group of young space colonizers come face to face with the most terrifying life form in the universe. If why this takes place between alien and aliens. Now here's some of the cast. This film was wild to say a lot. Definitely was scary. I got jump scared plenty of times. No fail on that. I will say the plot and story as a whole was just standard, but still super fun, exciting throughout, and keeps you on your toes. And had a bunch of really badass scenes. The CGI effects, the practical wires of them floating and falling, and the practical aliens themselves was top notch. It was hard to fully tell what was CGI and what wasn't in my personal experience. I was definitely in love with the look of the lighting choices as well throughout, the different color grades. It, it was just really, they really set you in the mood. And it wasn't like it, it was dark where it, you couldn't see. It was, they had enough light a certain way to actually did it perfectly compared to a lot of films these days. Uh, even shows. Um, now, I will say the audio mix between the score volume and the talking wasn't great 100% of the time, causing problems understanding dialogue. But the fast-paced action and the production quiet, quiet quality was through the roof. But here's my rating. I'll come back to my fall thoughts. This film was definitely hyped up a lot. And honestly, I, I didn't go out of the theater really that much um, disappointed. I actually really, really had a fun time with this. It does get a little bit slow at first. The audio is kind of off. And along with the uh, problem of uh, there's two guys that speak really thick accents. Um, but it, it's... It was a great film. It was such a fun film, such a great experience. Um, for what it was, it was definitely more than I was expecting to going into it. Um, I think they really did a really good job. Now, I will say it kind of did go a little too long. It is almost two hours and kind of felt like it should have been. Uh, I honestly don't know how, how long it should have been, but it's just like they added 20 minutes to it, which I get why they did it. But it's also at the same time they, it just felt like they were, they it wasn't really necessarily needed, uh, with that that kind of factor that they went with it, which was disturbing. But I won't spoil it for you. Um, yeah, I, definitely not better than the first two aliens. However, it is definitely my third favorite, uh, and that's saying a lot because I have a very long story slash past with the trauma of the series uh starting with those two the first three or four and um it, it's a long story so it's actually amazing that i was even able to watch this uh, without any issues now obviously there's gonna be their scare factor to it and i did jump out of my seat a bunch of times but i would think the the over loud speakers in the IMAX definitely added to that so it's kind of in a way cheating I guess you could say but I think it, for the most part if you're looking for a good scary movie that's has lots of good jump scares and uh, it's just a fun film um, with a lot a lot of really badass cool scenes um, and very well loved to it and I think the actress that played it played the main person, um, was very enthusiastic about 
the franchise. I, I could be wrong with that. I think I've read that a couple times or heard somewhere. Um, but she's she's definitely was very good. I don't know what else she's been in. Um, but everyone did a good job. Uh, yeah, so... <sighs> leave your thoughts down below. Um, unfortunately, that's probably it for now. But... Remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.